Good day. This is Peter Kniff from Castlestone Management with comments on the U.S. markets for the week ending September 25th. Worries over a possible default on more than $300 billion in debt by Chinese property developer Evergrande hit stocks early in the week, only to have the Dow Jones and S&P 500 post gains by the close on Friday. Volatility is up, but that's to be expected in September. Dow Jones posted a weekly gain of six-tenths of a percent. The S&P 500 rose five-tenths of a percent. And the NASDAQ composite ended the week break-even. Treasury bond yields surged last week after the Fed signaled that the tapering of its $120 billion of monthly bond purchases may soon be warranted. The 10-year yield climbed nine basis points to near 1.45%, its highest level since July 1st. The 30-year bond yield advanced 7.8 basis points, and the two-year note yield increased by five basis points. The ICE dollar index was largely unchanged on the week, posting a one-tenth of a percent gain. Gold prices had a wild week, posting a 1.6% drop on Thursday, only to end the week up 30 cents at 1,751.40. The bounce in risk assets late in the week put pressure on gold. Oil prices recorded four straight sessions of gains to close the week at its highest level since October 2018. WTI gained 3% on the week and Brent rose 3.7%. Thanks for listening. Thanks for doing business with Castlestone, and we'll talk to you soon.